Hello everyone, this is Suyog. Welcome to my channel, Learn Tableau with Suyog. Also, please subscribe to my channel uh, as I will be posting more videos like this one. In this video, we will learn about different filters in Tableau and how you can apply those filters on sheet level. For this video, I'm going to use a sample data set which is available on Tableau Public. So you can simply click on this sample data set and it should take you to Tableau Public Resources. And here, for this purpose, I'm going to use Airbnb listing in New York City. This one has like more than 30,000 Airbnb listing in New York City. To download this data, click on Dataset Excel and it should download uh, in your downloads. Let's go back to our Tableau. So in order to connect that downloaded file to Tableau, I'm gonna click on this Microsoft Excel and browse for the downloaded file and select the file, click on open. Once you establish the connection with that Excel, you should see those connection details here. And also you can take a quick glance of the data. Basically, it has host ID, host since, uh, what is the name of the listing, what's the neighborhood, property type, uh, room type, what is the zip code, number of beds, number of reviews, price, etc. Now let's go to the worksheet. So I'm going to click on sheet one here. So here Tableau has uh, categorized our data into two distinct types one is dimension and one is measures so in the mathematical term uh, dimensions are qualitative data and measures is quantitative data so that means uh, dimensions we cannot aggregate and for measures we can aggregate that and measures usually are numeric in nature and for example like if you bring any dimensions to the rows or columns it will create the headers and if you bring any measures to the rows or to columns it will create a axis so that's the main difference um, between dimensions and measures and also dimensions are represented in blue and measures are in green here so for the filtering you will get different options for dimensions and different options for measures first let's take a look at the dimensions so let's suppose we want to filter the different listings uh, based on their neighborhood. So I'll just bring name to the rows. As you can see it has almost like 30,000 rows and we want to filter this data by neighborhood. So simply drag neighborhood on to filters here. So once you do that you get a pop-up window here where you have like four different options for this dimension filter. Uh, first is general. In this you can manually select which neighborhood you want to select. For example like if, we, if I want to s see what are the listing in Queens area or Queens neighborhood then I can simply select this one and if I hit apply then as you can see there are around like 2200 listings in Queens area and also remember this exclude option it will be exactly the opposite uh, so if I check this one that means it's excluding Queens so if I if I hit apply then you will see all the listings except Queens so keep that in mind so here um, I will just simply click all and here you will have an option you can create a custom list based on um, the neighborhood or you can click on use all as well. In wildcard if you want to see a neighborhood which contains B or which starts with B so if it's like starts with B then it will select these Bronx and Brooklyn uh, neighborhood and similarly ends with and exactly matches you can um, type those here. I'll click reset here. In condition you can apply a filter based on a particular field. So here for example if you want to filter this list by price and you want to see the average price greater than 100 or also you can 
define the range of values here here on top it will be the similar like the condition so here you can select like top 10 or top 100 listings by your price or number of beds by average price or by total price so I'm just gonna reset everything and for the demo purposes I'm gonna click on a general and I'm gonna select all and hit apply so you successfully applied a filter here but this is not available to end users to make any selections so in order to make this available um, to end users you can simply click on this drop down here and click on show filter so now when you publish this worksheet the end users will have ability to filter if you don't want end users to have this select all option to end users you can simply click on this drop down here you can go to customize and you can uncheck this show all value so here if you click on this drop down you will see like different options you can change the layout of this filter to a single value list like this they will have only option to choose one they cannot select multiple here also you can create a single value drop down also single value slider multiple value list or multiple value drop down multiple value custom list and also a wildcard match so now let's bring uh, the majors onto filters and see what what happens here so i will simply uh, drag price onto filters and as you can see you will get like different aggregation options when you drag and drop a measure on filters if you didn't select any of the aggregation options here and you click on next then you will get like these filter options that you can select a range of values for example like if you want to see the listings which has a price from 10 to hundred dollars only and if you hit apply it will show that like almost like eleven thousand six hundred listings have price range in in between like ten to hundred I'll just reset and hit apply also you can select uh, at least value or you can select at most in the special you can handle null values so for this demonstration purposes I'm gonna keep like 10 to 100 and hit apply I'll just quickly bring the price so as you can see none of the listing is showing you the price more than 100 here because we applied a filter so let's make this available to end users and see what options they get here so here the filter had provided them a slider where they can like select different range if they want to and data is filtering based on um, that filter they applied here so as you can see there is only one listing which has a, like price of like 10,000 if you click on this drop down you will get the similar options here as well and based on the requirements you can you can choose what what type of filter you you want to apply here so we we covered like data filters for dimensions and majors now let's see what if we bring the date onto filters and what options we get and what happens in our data we have a host since date here so I will simply bring that host since and drag and drop it on the filter similar to measures we have some aggregation options here as well but they are the aggregation options we got previously was for numbers and these options are for dates now and you can do the same thing by without clicking on anything you can simply click next or if you select anything for example like if I choose month and year and click on next then it will show you all the months um, and year which you can manually choose similar to the filters which we saw in dimensions for example like if I click on all and hit apply and let's bring host sense one more time 
and this time like without selecting anything we will just click on next and now you will get like the similar options which we get when we bring the price in you, you have like range updates you can select minimum and maximum here you have like relative dates where you can say show me the host which just since last three months only or you can select a, a start date or you can define a end date as well for this demo I'm gonna select relative dates and I'm gonna say show me all the host in last three months and hit apply let's make this available to end users and also this filter as well okay so as you can see we are not seeing any data here the reason because we applied a wrong filter here so in our data as you can see we have August 2015 is the latest date and here we applied a filter to show only last three months and it's doing last three months based on your current date so in order to fix that we can change this filter to show years instead of months Just five years now we can see data filter out based on this these filters but here you may have noticed since we selected last five years it's showing you all the months and years prior to that as well which doesn't make sense so if you select last five years this filter should show only the relevant dates so in order to do that you can simply click on this drop down and click on this option show only relevant values and it should show you only the relevant values here so based on the end user's requirement you can choose whatever the filter you want to select or you can select both but just make sure you have this option clicked to show only the relevant values otherwise it will confuse the end users so that's it about the filters um, let me know if you have any questions regarding this in the comment section below and also feel free to suggest like what videos I should make next thank you so much for watching